The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the apostles, Whom among you says to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? Should it, sh so should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We've done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning, while meditating on this Gospel, I was taken back. It's funny what happens when you're meditating. It's funny what can happen there. I was taken back into my childhood, strangely enough, and I started thinking about the old neighborhood on Somerville Street. And it was, it was a, a boy in the neighborhood. He had all the best toys. When we wanted to play Army, he had the best plastic machine guns and M1 rifles and 45 calibers. This was fantastic. We were all loaded for bear for every battle. Also, and then a few years later, he got like the first BB gun in the neighborhood. Everybody wanted to try it. He had the best train set, racing cars in the cellar, all created with all these beautiful um, trees and houses in it, and this big box in his cellar that his dad built for him. And on a rainy day, everybody wanted to be at his house, racing cars and playing with trains. It was the best. And one day, um, we had a sober experience in the neighborhood when um, a couple of us were not too good to him. And he looked at us and he said, you guys like me just for my toys. Shame on me. Thank God we had the chance to exonerate ourselves. A few days later, a gang from the other neighborhood came in and were harassing this guy. The boys got together. We all had rocks in our hands. And um, there was a, a standoff, and our good friend was, let us just say, liberated by, from the hands of some evil young gang. And he was grateful, and we were grateful. And it bound us in a type of friendship. Literally, the neighborhood guys put their life on the line for him because these were big, big guys. Strangely enough, um, a couple of years ago, someone from that neighborhood actually reminded me of that experience because he was part of that other gang. It's interesting. My point is this. Sometimes we treat God as if he's the one who has all the best toys and that's what we want. And there's no love in that. It's simply entitlement and expectation. And so if we're not getting consolation in prayer, if it doesn't feel good to go to Mass, if it doesn't feel good to care for my neighbor, we don't want to do that. And yet this Gospel passage teaches us that in the service of God, the first thing a servant does is we recognize how generous he is. And we can't help but be staggered by that. And so I can't pay him for this. The only thing I can do is gratefully stay in his service, even when there's no consolation, 
even when it's difficult. And one of the things I've come to discover, especially in nurturing a life of prayer, is that at some point we have to get away from the grocery lists we, we present to God in prayer. And then when prayer seems dry and even tedious, I stay there just the same and maybe even 15 more minutes because when prayer isn't fun, when the Mass isn't fun, that's when I'm saying, I love you. I love you, Jesus. I'm just an unprofitable servant. I see how good you've been to me. And I can't pay you back. All I can do is give you my love. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, qui aque menu misti portare, Alleluia, resurrexit sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.